Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to be talking about how becoming a developer actually changed my life. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I, you know, I've been thinking about all the different things that I've been doing for the last few years. And becoming a developer has actually been one of the main reasons why I have been able to do so much, what I've been able to learn so many different technologies, and also been able to push apps to the macOS App Store, to iOS, to Android, also work on games, also work in augmented reality. So I want to talk a little bit about that process and, and basically, you know, tell you why coding means so much to me and hopefully give you an idea of what, you know, becoming a developer. If you're already a developer, what you could do by, by actually knowing many programming languages. So when I was starting to work on on apps, this was about five years ago, I, I started to, you know, get into the industry by, by a new adventure that a friend of mine actually introduced me to. And he wanted me to build an app for, you know, for a platform. And, and we didn't really know much about, you know, making apps or I was a .NET developer. I'm still a .NET developer. And I was coding in C Sharp. So, you know, going into, into a new platform, which is Objective-C, was a little bit intimidating at first. I, I looked at the language and, and not only the language was different, but also the, the structure, the, the actual patterns of the language were, were much different to what I, what I was used to. I, I also went to college and I, I graduated with, you know, computer science. And, and then while I was going into college, I learned you know, C++, and, and I remember going into college and, and getting into the C++ class, and, and the teacher would say, hey, Dilbert, how's it going? Do you want to learn some programming today? And, and it was funny because I, I, I freaked out. I, I didn't really want to learn a new uh, language. I was technical, but I didn't know any programming at all. So when I, when I took the first class, I, I remember the, the professor going through pointers, going through basically the, the flow, flow controls, and, and some data structures as well. So when I started looking at how pointers work, I just, it just didn't, didn't register in my mind. A lot of the things that he, he mentioned back then, I, I didn't understand. And then from that point forward, I, I told myself, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna take another class, and, and I did okay in the class, I, but I, a lot of the things I didn't understand. Then I remember taking an objective, object-oriented programming class, and, and I really loved that class because that class was more of, you know, how you actually describe an object and, you know, the relationship between objects and what object-oriented programming really is. And, after taking that class, I started to understand the power of programming, and, and and then after that, I took a data structures class, and I took just many classes about programming in general, and I graduated. I started a new job as a as a junior developer, and you know I started making websites, started making back end back end services, and and learning a little bit of everything. And you know years go by. And I get a job at a new company as a, you know, as a .NET developer. And the person that hired me didn't really want to hire me because he didn't think I was, I didn't have the skill sets that I needed to do that job. And, but there was a lady in that interview that she just had a lot of trust in me. She, she knew that I, that my personality was very positive and I wanted to push myself to keep learning. And I, and I say that a lot of times in the interviews where, they would ask me questions and, and I would I would know some questions, but a lot of questions I didn't know and I and I would always say, you know, it, it doesn't, I, I would always say, I might not know it right now, but I'm gonna learn it. So even if I, if I you know, they would ask me a question that was completely relevant and I didn't know it, I knew in the bottom of my heart that I was gonna learn it. And, you know, the first couple of weeks of working in that company were rough. I, I didn't know a lot about the company. I didn't know the domain, the knowledge. I didn't know the, you know, all the technical aspects, aspects of the company. Then years passed by and, and I become one of the leads. I become, you know, the person to go to, the developer that knows most of everything. And, and I, I don't say it to sound, you know, like I know a lot I'm saying it because I want you to understand that you have to 
you have to keep pushing yourself to you know to keep learning and to keep growing as a professional and you're gonna be put into spots like that where you know you might be the new guy but that's okay being the new guy it's okay you might not be the lead but you're gonna be learning a lot so always keep that in your mind because that's gonna basically gonna help you throughout your career even if you're you know if you're founding a company and you're starting out and, and you need to talk to other founders or you're at a point in your life where you're, you're a lead then these things will help you though because it doesn't matter how advanced you are in your career you're always going to learn something from somebody else so becoming better at it and pushing yourself to to become better professionals is, is very important to me so the next the next part of my career was you know i now i i had a lot of experience with programming i have done objective c i learned javascript i learned you know i knew c plus plus and i started experimenting with swift which wasn't you know too long ago and I also started experimenting with games and, and I realized that, you know, not only I, I, I knew how to code for applications, and but I also wanted to take that to a next level. And that was, you know, why I started to, to practice and to play with Unreal and, and also Unity, which is Unity was the one that I, that I used the most. And, and that changed my life because now I could actually start developing not only I was able to code things, but I was able to take those things that I coded into real, you know, objects that will move. So I felt like uh, I felt like a god in a world that didn't actually exist. So that to me was was amazing to you know to be able to code and, and take code and actually make something vivid out of it. So becoming a developer for me has become one of the most amazing things. Not only because. I've been able to push so many things and, and games, and but it's because I can actually change and impact people's lives. So every time you're, you're working on, you know, I'm working on a game or, or working on an app, I'm always asking the question of how can I actually change somebody's life, even if it's from, you know, for entertainment, even if it's for, you know, educational. So you can actually, with, with coding, you can actually do more, much more than than we think at the beginning. We think at the beginning we're gonna be working on, you know, a business app and we're gonna be just a little piece of the puzzle. And we might be in the beginning, we might be a little piece of the puzzle. But that piece of the puzzle, you know, it's very important because if you're not that piece and you don't fill that in, the puzzle is never gonna be complete. So that's the thing that I, you know, as I as I think about all the different coding and, and languages that I've been learning, to me those are pieces in the puzzle. So I'm learning Swift, I'm learning you know, C++, I'm learning, you know, a lot about web services, networking, you name it, I, I'm trying to learn as, as much as I can. The reason I do that is not because I, uh, one thing, one, I'm, I'm very passionate about doing that, but I know all those things are gonna take me to the end goal, which, which you know, someday I want to be able to, to keep pushing myself and, and keep making better games, keep making better apps, and, and change people's life and and you know that that's the thing that I think you need to consider is asking yourself the question of why is it that you're doing what you're doing who is it that you're gonna be impacting with your you know with your coding skills and, and how, how do you see yourself you know changing say, changing the industry years from today so keep that in mind in everything that you do always think about how important it is what you're doing right now and what you're learning right now and thank you very much for your time. If you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned, let me know through the comments. And don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.